is Heinz Sokolowski. I was born during the First World War in 1917 in December. I had a pretty normal childhood here in Berlin. After I ended my formal education, I was training to become a journalist by trade. At that point, the Second World War had broken out and I was drafted into the Weimarkt, Germany's unified forces, and I was both a fighting soldier during the war as well as a war correspondent due to my journalism experience. At some point, I was captured by Russia's Red Army during Germany's invasion of Russia, where I promptly became a prisoner of war. Um, and during that time as a prisoner of war, I became a communist after becoming involved in several anti-fascism groups. Right after the war ended in 46, the Russians released me, whereupon I relocated in East Berlin in the Russian section of Berlin, the Russian section of Berlin, and I started a family. I was working for the Soviets, but eventually the Germans arrested me in 1953, and they found me guilty of espionage at a military tribunal. Whereupon again, I was sentenced to prison and a labor camp back to the Soviet Union for 10 years. In 1956, though, early, the Soviets returned me to the German Democratic Republic, where East Germany is right now. Here, I was sort of held prisoner again until February of 63. I contacted tuberculosis at this time and almost died. Um, I finally was released to at least live in East Germany, and I began working as an elevator operator whereupon, with some of my connections, I applied to leave East Germany, but they denied me immigration. This put an asterisk next to my name on the Stasi's list, where I was sort of red flagged at this point. I was suddenly and unexplainably fired from my elevator operator job in May of 65, and it was at this point I began to think about trying to escape. So through some of the very few connections I had, I planned my escape for late November of 1965. It's unclear how I got so far across the river, but I got to the border near Brandenburg Gate, and I was made my way to the Reichstag building, where an East German soldier suddenly fired one warning shot at me. I continued on and reached the wall with the barbed wire, whereupon as I began to climb, the guards began to fire upon me quite heavily, and I was shot in the abdomen, and I was picked up and I died on my way to the hospital. That was early morning of November 5th, 1965, and I was only 47 years old.